Beethoven's Piano Sonata number no. 8, Opus 13, Pathetique, is one of the most celebrated works of all time. Composed when he was 27 years old, the piece is full of recenders and subdual pianos. Ludwig van Beethoven was born in Bonn, Germany in 1770. He studied with various composers, among them was Haydn. I feel like I was <laughs> He composed and made appearances all around Vienna and Europe. And because he was a virtuosic pianist and a famous keyboard improviser, he was welcome in many aristocratic circles. One aristocratic benefactor, Prince Karl von Lichnowski, paid him 600 florins annually for his hard work. Beethoven wrote the Pathetique in 1798. It was when classical era compositions were highly technical and formal like Mozart and Haydn. The pathetique follows all the rules of the day, but has an extra dimension of expression and emotion. It does not mean the English term pathetic. <laughs> Instead, it means being passionate and emotional and deeply moving. In fact, the pathetique was named after its publisher, who named it Grande Sonata Pathetique because of its tra tragic sonatas. Anyways, the sonata has three movements. The first is the most famous. It begins with a slow, gravel form, and the whole section mainly consists of C minor, which is a perfect key to show tragic and deep emotive music. The second and third movements are not as famous, however, they are very significant. In the second movement, there is a cantabile melody that is played three times. In between the themes, the development will move into startling new keys in very original ways. For example, after the repeat of the second theme, Beethoven uh, launches into this episode, uh, and it's very interesting how he transitions back into the main theme. articulations, fingerings, and voicing problems throughout the piece. My favorite part is in the C section, where after a fairy close of the A section, the character completely changes, and it kind of sounds like a Bach choral. exciting compositions until his death in 1827. Maynard Solomon, a writer and record producer, once said about the Pathetique Sonata, it is the most dynamically propulsive of Beethoven's piano sonatas thus far. The first sonata to utilize a slow, dramatic introduction, and the first whose movements are clearly and unmistakably linked through the use of related thematic material and conscious reminiscences. In its ardent, youthful way, it opens up the path to the fantasy sonatas of the following years. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 